I'm Tim McCurcher with BRP's Marine Group, and we're here in beautiful Wabasso, Florida on the Intercoastal Waterway, and we're aboard the brand new 2023 Manitou Explorer. This is our 24-foot boat with a four-foot platform, so we actually call it a 24 plus four, and we'll talk about that, that usable space on the transom here in a moment. But it's really uh, a redefinition of what a pontoon boat can be. The BRP design and innovation team really looked at what uh, pontooning is in North America, and it's the fastest growing boating segment in the entire marine industry. So this is where a lot of love and a lot of focus has taken place with that world-renowned design team. So they looked at what's really important uh, on a boat because I mean a pontoon boat it, it's kind of like bringing your living room out on the water and but also still wanting some performance so it was really about designing something that was timeless yet very very modern so everything was rethought as far as just the look and the the functionality of the cockpit the exterior of this Manitou pontoon was very much inspired by modern uh, automobile design so rather than having off the shelf lighting and different components that everybody's using, it's very exclusive and very unique to Manitou. It actually uses car fender type designs where the lighting is integrated into the curves and it gives it a, a very stylish, unique, modern look. So this one is, is the white package. It, it almost looks like a uh, private jet. So it, it really has a lot of unique styling on the outside with our forward swept designs. You can see on the side of the Manitou, the forward swept angle that carries on all the way into the bimini top. So it has that, that unique, not necessarily aggressive, but performance oriented look from the outside. Then on the inside, again, really wanted to, to utilize all of the space. So. It, uh, rather than taking off the shelf parts, all of the seating, all of the cushioning is molded foam. So everything fits perfectly, yet it's super comfortable, very, very plush. This boat is really about value-minded luxury, all in one. So the, the design aspects are, are very functional. There's a lot of, let me turn the engine off here. We can do a little walk around. So the, the cushioning, all of the cushions have storage underneath them. So all of the cushioning, you have storage. Well, they say, okay, all boats have storage under the, under the seating, but yet this carries on all the way under all of the cushions. So now it really makes it functional as far as all of the space. And again, the cushions are molded foam to fit this exact situation. We also see cup holders everywhere. We also have USB outlets everywhere because as much as we want to disconnect out on the water, we still want to be connected at the same time. So we've got our sound system up front. We've got a complete access panel uh, under here that's really easy to get to all of the electronics if you wanted to add something. We have what we call our link light system. So we have this, this is carried over from the sea -Doo watercraft and now it's carried on to the switch pontoon as well as the manitou now so this is actually not supposed to say it but it's a wine glass holder a chalice holder so this just plugs in right here we have our cup holders here we can move them around anywhere we want we've also got little cubbies on the uh the helm areas again with usb outlets so everybody can stay connected and take those super awesome instagram photos this is what we call our navigator cockpit package. So it has the navigator seat. Then we also have a version that's called our switchback seat. And let me explain what the switchback is. So again, while we're cruising, we want to be able to have some versatility in the seating. So this is set up with the seat back facing the forward position. Now, if we want to lounge, I can simply undo the latch here. I switch it to facing the transom. So now I can lounge, everybody can sit back on this big deck and just enjoy the, uh, the, the back of the, the machine. So the transom, now that we're back here, we might as well talk about this. In most pontoon boats, what you would see in this area is a big engine. 
So this is one of the other big innovations on the Manitou boat is the use of the all new Rotax outboard stealth engine. So underneath this deck is an outboard engine, but rather than the power head sticking straight up, it's actually turned 90 degrees. So now it's out of the way. We have a much more usable transom area and it's free from any obstruction such as an outboard engine. Plus it's also tucked up underneath more. So now anybody diving under or diving off the transom has more clearance uh, from the engine. So as it's trimmed up, this back plate actually comes up, but that's the engine down there. So again, very, very low profile, out of the way, and that is a, another huge feature. So now we have 38 square feet of transom area back here. I mean, you could have a dance party just on this back transom. And again, a couple of the little attention to detail elements on this machine is the ladder. It doesn't sound like a big deal, but most ladders go straight off the back. This one's actually angled out just a little bit. Again, one of those little minor design details. So that way, again, you're a little bit further away from the engine. Then on the other side is where we have our link attachment system. So the link attachment, we can literally plug and play different accessories. We've got our uh, small cooler on it attached here now. And again, 46% of boat owners also own another recreational product, whether it be a snowmobile, an ATV, a side-by-side Sea-Doo -side, uh, watercraft. And the link attachment system are uh, able to be attached to any of those other uh, recreational vehicles. So the cockpit area, again, we call it a 24-foot cockpit. This door pops up, swings in so I can quickly get in. And I'm going to start it up before we drift into the dock. Okay, another area that's been rethought and, and redesigned is the helm area. So we want to make the helm a little bit more functional, a little bit uh, more usable. So now we've actually moved our, our gauges and our information off to the side. So ra rather than having it behind the steering wheel, now it's off to the side. I have a very clear vision of this Garmin big touchscreen system. So now we've got our, our basic information, our, our speed, fuel level, actually since you can't see the engine, so we've got our rudder angle gauge here. And in our engine trim, which I can use from the, on the, uh, the engine control lever here, we've also got our trim, so we see all those information. Then we can also go into the different functions. So we have charts, so we can go in our navigation chart, and again, we can track our routing. We can also go, if we want to uh, do a little fishing, we can actually see our depth. So we have our depth gauge here. Again, we're in Florida, so it's pretty shallow, but all that comes in very handy. And again, it's just uh, away from uh, a very clear vision. We've got all of our controls here. We've also got a little phone holder. So you have your phone here and then that can hook up into the Bluetooth uh, sound system. So a lot of functionality on the helm area. Again, super comfortable with the navigator chair. I can actually raise the bolster seat. So I have a little bit higher, higher vision here and just very functional. So again, this is our 24 foot. You can get the, the new Manitou design in 20 foot. 22 and 24. This is the 24 Explorer package and this has the Stealth 150 horsepower Rotax outboard. So good performance also comes not just from the engine but from the hull design. So this has Manitou's patented tri-hull uh, hull design which makes it feel more like a boat than a pontoon. The center tube or the center pontoon is larger than the outside outrigger pontoons so it sits a little deeper so it actually feels like a v-hull boat which makes it fun to drive but also when we're going through chop it helps navigate through that chop much more comfortably this entirely new manitou design uh, was just launched just this past august and they're already in production so they will be shipping to dealerships around north america 
uh, hopefully by boat show season, which is the, the February, March timeframe. So we recommend going into a boat show. It's going to be a full boat show season after two years, actually three years of shows not all being open. I, I believe every show that was open pre-pandemic is, is planning shows this year. So we recommend going to a boat show and checking out the brand new Manitou pontoon boats. <laughs>